infrastructure, everything that's here is what the farmers, in effect, have done. Yes. What are some of the things now, Tom, that jeopardize uh, the standing of the farming, which uh, too many of us in the community are probably not really sure what's going on in terms of some of the risks that are involved with uh, the leases? That whether, What year did they start? When were they renegotiated? And when will they be uh, finalized? The lease was initially offered to us and signed back in 1970. 1970, okay. Okay, and that was, uh, we had a 50, roughly 57, 58 years lease, which would extend uh, automatically to 2025 and so many months. Uh, might mm -hmm. be off by months, but uh, 2025 is the expiration of our lease. Now, we have lease rent renegotiation uh, that has already started for one property here which was 2007 mm -hmm. and nothing has happened as yet and our most of the other farmers here uh, the negotiation will start in 2010 however mm -hmm. Bishop Estate had indicated that they would not issue many different leases they would issue only one lease therefore the current lease that's been negotiated with the one farmer you know, would establish the actual lease rental. Mm -hmm. And this is where we're trying our best to influence and to appeal to, to Bishop Estate that they should consider community benefit as much as profit for Bishop Estate. We're not objecting to their profit-making, mm -hmm. you know, uh, management uh, policy, but at the same time, Bishop Estate being the largest trust organization in the world you know there's no reason why they shouldn't give back something to the community and this is what we're hoping that Bishop and state trustees would recognize and take action in their management practices where they would consider the community needs as much as the needs for their own profit it sounds like you're pretty concerned about the renegotiations that are coming up in a couple of years, 2010. You don't feel very confident. Uh, in fact, I've heard rumors that some, in fact, generally identify Hawaii Kai and Bishop Estate when they did the lease to fee uh, renewal of their leases, and from $30 a month, some went to $300, some went to 1000 Do you think that could happen to the farmers here in the valley? And if so, it when? Could, uh, it could very well happen, but uh, as far as we're concerned, based on what Bishop has stated, indicated that there'll be just one lease. Uh, we don't think we can wait until our negotiation in the year 2010 to negotiate. The first one, which is being negotiated right now, to, uh, we feel that that is the critical negotiation. So the bellwether of what may be taking place. Uh, if the lease did go to you know, extreme amounts, would the farmers be hard pressed to, to keep up with it? What, what, give me a prognosis on if the renegotiations well, work for uh, better or for worse. Our observation is that uh, what's happening in other Bishop Estate lease negotiation outside of the residential or agricultural area in the commercial and industrial area, they have indicated increase in lease, therefore uh, the, the people holding the lease had to just vacate. So they would just mm -hmm. automatically take over the lease, turn around, and have the city put into a higher use, and they get a higher lease for it. So what's the higher use for Camilo Nui Valley? What's the residential. rumor? Residential. They're talking about they want to bring in uh, residential development in, in this valley. You know, I'm the representative for uh, East Honolulu, East Hawaii Kai to Palma Valley, but and I can't speak for everybody, but I think I can speak for everybody. When we hear of the possibility of Camilo Nui Valley becoming a residential subdivision, Tom, I think that will turn people upside down in terms of what we now see as an overcrowded, overdeveloped places where you got to stand in line to go to the supermarket, not just the post office the way it used to be, but to the supermarket, the traffic, the infrastructure. Uh, I find the possibility of that, and being general that Bishop Estate likes to be a good neighbor, I, I can't see that possibility happening. But if it did happen, I think the whole of the community would say, um, we prefer 
farmers than developers in houses in this beautiful valley. I just, do you 